Well, Jason, if you're talking comms, you certainly couldn't deny that Clearcom is one of the major players in the industry. Yeah, We've got especially new product in here. Yeah. Mm. And, and also broadcast as well, I yeah, think. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Tell us what we've got. Yeah, well, this is the new FreeSpeak 2. It's digital wireless full duplex communication. Now, um, the interesting thing about FreeSpeak 2 is it works in the DECT band, the Digital Enhanced Cordless T Telecommunications, or to some people, Digital European Cordless Telecommunications. Or DECT. DECT, yeah, easier, much easier to say. So that's very much uh, in, in opposition to a lot of things that will work in the 2.4 gigahertz range, though you can make this run in there. Yeah. Though that is getting very crowded, and that's what people are finding and that's mm. why this has opened up now in Australia, you can get about 50 channels in there of full duplex. As in 50 belt packs simultaneously mm. under optimal conditions. In the US, they implemented DECT a little bit differently and it's sort of 20, but you can find ways around that. But what we're hearing from out in the field is that this is enabling things to happen in, in terms of large events that people have never managed to do before. So I've talked to a couple of people who've worked on major events like the European Games, where they actually managed to get 80 full duplex belt packs working at the same time by co-opting another frequency Which is band. pretty cool. Cool. Now, there's. Um, I'm going to give you the basic lay mm. of the system. We've got our base station here, which is actually the same hardware as FreeSpeak 1 base. So if you've mm. got FreeSpeak 1, firmware upgrade, you're already on the way to the upgrade mm. path. Mm. Then we've got these, the active antenna transceivers. So this handles all the audio and supplies power to these guys. Uh, these are available in 1.9 and 2.4 gigahertz, mm. as are the belt packs. Mm. Now, this has got two ports on the back of it to run antennas, but you can get a splitter, which then lets you run five per port. And you can even remote those up to a thousand meters away mm. um, and just power the antennas locally. Now, these are IP65 rated. Mm. So are the belt packs. There's a mm. drop-in charger available for these. These things will run for up to 18 hours off the lithium iron batteries internally, or if you're desperate, you can chuck a couple of AAs in there and uh, they'll go for about six hours. Mm. Little work light on the bottom for you, uh, four pin XLR for your headset. Now we've got four keys uh, dead on top, A, B, C and D, which are programmable. Plus we've also got a reply key, which will normally just reply, but you can program that as well. Mm. What you can program it to do, is basically you can make any belt pack talk to any other belt pack. You can make it force listen, you can make it press to listen or press to talk or force listen and press to talk mm. or uh, double talk listen. Um, there's a call function. We've got uh, visual and uh, audible and even a vibrate function mm. as a call alert. There's a menu system on here which can be partially or completely locked out with a passcode. Mm. Um, it's a very complex system it is, it and is. trying to explain it all in two minutes is quite difficult. <laughs> it is. Uh, as far as how the setup goes, basically you plug your antennas and you turn the thing on um, and you put this into belt pack registration mode which you can either do through the software which attaches via PC or you can do from the front panel and then you just attach your belt packs. Once that's done, you use the software to define the role and you know, what the buttons and programming of each belt pack is. That's all offline programming. Mm. Then you upload that into here, and that then wirelessly deploys all the programming into the belt packs. Mm. In real time monitoring, we can see also what each belt pack and antenna is doing as well. Mm. Now, uh, I love the construction of the belt packs. As you said, they're IP65 rated, they're reassuringly full on. You know, yep. you can know you're going to do Reassuringly pricey. <laughs> That's true too. But what I'm hearing from people who have actually used these things on major events is that uh, the upshot is you can't actually tell the difference between who's on wired and who's on wireless. They sound the same. Yeah, way. audio bandwidth on the mm. system is uh, 200 hertz to 7.5 kilohertz, and for mm. speech, that's Certainly more than enough, and for you know, for comms, speech is pretty much where <laughs> yeah, it's at. It you is, know, it's it the is. only thing that matters. Yeah, between the amount you can get, the fact it's full duplex, uh, and the intelligibility, and let's face it, it's about intelligibility and reliability. Yep. Built like a tank and sounds perfect. And 18 hours, you're not going to need to be running around doing battery changes mid-event. No, that no. was something that always got me when I was being comms tech. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Look, these these are getting uh, rave reviews from pretty much everybody, and they're getting used on major events, and people have taken up major inventory, and I think. Uh, you know, the market's spoken already. Mm. 450 metre range too. Yeah. Beat that. Mm. Thank you so much for watching Gearbox. If you like what you saw, please give us a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more videos, don't forget to subscribe to our channel by clicking below. We'll see you next time.